Hey everybody, Bohush here speaking for photodeoxpro.com and we're going to do a little traveling with our Sony camera. That is to say, traveling further into the picture than we ever have before. It's a little romantic uh, to describe using a vintage lens, but let's just look at it. This is a 500 millimeter lens that I picked up at a thrift store for $25. Now think about that. If you're using a kit lens that came with your camera, what is it? 55 millimeters and a nice zoom that goes to 130 millimeters or something like that. This is 500 millimeters. So this is way in there. Now it's not a zoom, it is a telephoto. So it is a fixed focal length. And it's not a great low light performer either. This goes down to what? F8. So you're gonna wanna use this outdoors or you're gonna wanna use this in special applications where you're shooting something that's illuminated. But dude, for 25 bucks, this is a lot of fun. All I had to do is add a uh, protective filter on the front and a lens cap, which I got at Photo Deox. But this is the end we want to talk about. This just has a simple screw thread. It's called a T2 mount. Back in the day, some companies just sold lenses this way with the idea that at your camera store, you'd buy the appropriate mount for your camera. We can take advantage of that because we have a Sony NEX to T mount adapter. We've got it for all kinds of cameras too. But in this case, we're gonna be hooking this up to a Sony camera. So, it looks like this. It is a simple tube of metal. Pardon me, I'm not littering, you're just not seeing where it's going. Screw thusly, right? And now you'll notice this lens is so long, it has its own tripod hole there. So let's put that on my tripod plate. And this way it'll balance better because you wouldn't want to crack your camera in half. All right, so let's put this in like so. Okay, so let's mount the camera now. Now you're gonna run into this probably. Look, I mount the camera, look, it's all crooked and stuff. No big deal. This collar that holds the lens, you can actually loosen it up and you can rotate around like that. Because, you know, this is made for all kinds of different cameras. The screw thread kind of falls in different places. Okay, that's it. Now we're ready to shoot. Okay, so the shot you're looking at right now is shot at 50 millimeters. So this is a fairly average kind of kit lens shoot you'd get. You get a lot of the background there, but uh, can you see that there's writing on the water tower? Well, let's take a shot of that with our Sony camera with the 500 mil lens. As you can see, we are focused in on just the water tower. We can see the railings. We can see the, the writing on the side. Um, now it's a softer picture uh, than a new lens. That's just the nature of vintage lenses. But some folks feel that when you shoot 4K video, it takes the edge off of like the, the digital look off of the uh, video footage, uh, which can be nice if you're going for kind of a cinematic look. But hey, the lens was 25 bucks, that's hard to beat. The adapter is under 25 bucks, the lens cap was a couple bucks. So under $50, you're able to really get right in there. Now remember, this is not a zoom lens. You know, you don't start wide and then kind of move in. It is a telephoto lens. You're pretty much locked into that 500 millimeter distance. But man, you could shoot a lot of stuff. Uh, in fact, we're gonna walk around the park take a few more shots to see how close we can get basically just standing sort of around here. One thing I've done with this lens that I did not expect to work, I was able to shoot the moon with it. Now it does not perform well in low light, like we said, it's an F8 uh, at the lowest end. Uh, the thing is you're shooting an object that is illuminated by the sun, it's reflecting the sun. So really, it's more than enough to shoot a really awesome shot of the moon. It's uh, fun stuff like this that reminds you to keep your eyes open when you're at a, uh, an antique store or a thrift store or someplace like that. You never know where you're gonna find your next favorite vintage lamp. Now you can mount a vintage lens like this on pretty much any camera out there, thanks to all the adapters that we have at Photo Deox. The Sony camera is especially adept at mounting lenses on it just because it's mirrorless, it's got the short flange distance, and you can just mount practically any vintage lens or modern lens on the Sony camera. Uh, that's what makes it a favorite with so many people. So if you want to learn more about the adapter that we used in this video, just click on the link down below this video. And don't forget to click right here to subscribe. You'll get more kind of fun, kooky, vintage lens videos just like this one. My name's Bohush. Thanks for watching.